Man City versus Real Madrid. The game has ended 3-3 at the Banabo. Walifunga roof, walifunga roof, lakini bado imesha draw. <laughs> they decided they're not going to keep the roof open. The game still ended in a draw. This was, I, I don't think, I was listening to, I think, Rio say, the, the six goals, if you take them as a whole, the six goals, it's very hard you find a game with just like really good goals, right? Starting with Bernardo Silva. Real knew that Chuameni was on a yellow card. Dude, don't let that guy be in dangerous situations. 40 seconds in, he gets his, his yellow card. He's already missing the next match. So he's not going to be available at the Etihad. That's mistake number one. Um, putting Chuameni in that situation within the first minute. Him getting into that challenge that recklessly. Getting the yellow card. That's, uh, it's like three and one, but it's tied to one. And then you not having a proper wall and conceding a, a, a free kick in that manner from Bernardo Silva. Like, kudos Bernardo, Bernardo Silva to actually seeing. He's been quite on form, to be honest. He's been on another level. But Real, that first two, three minutes, well, they were not in it. I guess you can sort of blame them not playing for almost 10 days. I think nine days it was. There, was, there were no La Liga fixtures this weekend because of the Copa del Rey final. Um, oh, shout out to Ander Herrera, by the way, who just won the Copa del Rey. Shout out, shout out, shout out. Um, yeah, so Athletic Bilbao winning Copa del Rey. So yeah, maybe that's the reason, but I, I, I don't know. Uh, to be fair to them, they bounced back quite well with two quick goals. Kamavinga's goal, obviously a deflection. Maybe that was the most boring goal of the of the day, to be honest. Um, a def big deflection of Ruben Diaz and going in. Um, and then a few moments later, uh, who scored the other goal? Why am I forgetting who scored? Rodrigo. Rodrigo breaking. So, uh, Lenny, shout out to Lenny, by the way. Lenny on TikTok. Uh, we were live on TikTok, YouTube, and on um, X, Twitter. So, yeah, Lenny pointed the fact that all the goals came from Man City's right side. Obviously, Kyle Walker was not playing this game, but all the chances came from the right side. Akanji was getting smoked by Rodrigo on that wing. Second leg, Walker just has to be fit. Like, there's, there's no other option. Or if he's not fit, they have to find a way to nullify that threat on the wing because... Real were just really, really running into that space um, quite freely. So, uh, yeah, that was Rodrigo. Does well to go past um, for the through ball, then kind of slows it down a bit. Then I think Ortega would have done better because I, 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 at first I thought it was a deflection off the defender, but he just hit Ortega's leg and then went in. So I was like, maybe he got a bit confused that it might have hit one of his defenders. But yeah, um, weird goal to concede for Man City. Then, obviously, City come back with a stunner from Phil Foden, another person who's been on form this whole year. Stones with the assist this time. Stones was just playing, like, like this role that he's been given with uh, uh, for Man City by Pep is just, like, he's just on a different level. We all, we all felt like there was a point where two seasons ago, like, was that 50 million really worth it to Everton? But I think the last two seasons, the man has really showed he's just a, he's just a footballer. Like, he's just a solid all-rounded footballer. Um, and he's really uh, like the narrative that the English footballers can't really ball like that. Like, you know, like he's, he's, he's done very, very well. Like I'm, I'm, I'm super, super proud of just the type of footballer he's showing us. He's, he's just an all-rounded baller. He totally reminds me of Branthwaite, another kid from Everton, but that's a story for another day. Um, yeah. So then Foden, top beans, like can't even stop that. Like that is probably, that was at that point, that was the best goal of the night, right? Um, then our boy, Josko Guardiol said, hold my drink, hold my drink. Uh, yeah, so he gets the ball on the wing and then cuts back in and carves another beautiful, like, off his weaker foot, mind you. Like, yo, like this game, this game was insane. 3-2 for a game where you're like, this will have been a final. Like, you know, like it was so, op it was so open. Like the fixture itself should be a final. Obviously, a final wouldn't be that high scoring, but... It was it was it was really dope to see, and just when you thought that things wouldn't get better, that Valverde volley, yeah, volley, the Valverde volley. Hey, I can't even speak. The Valverde volley, like the cross coming in. I don't know who was was it Modric. I, I can't remember. You guys can remind me who crossed the ball in, and then Valverde, like the technique of that. Like if there's anything you can learn from that is look at how long he looks at the ball, and even when he executes and strikes the ball. He is super focused on the ball. Like, he does not take his eyes off even for one second. Like, that is, is, is one of those things that some people just have and don't have. Someone who really had a skill like that that I thought was quite underrated was Tom Huddleston. He used to play for Hull, and I think he also played for Tottenham for a while. 
like that the, just the technique of just seeing the ball and when he drops i'm going to hit it purely like i don't think there was anyone who was he was really good um another person who reminds me of was two guy from blackburn he also used to play in midfield uh but yeah those like that volley was was wild obviously i think i don't know if you're to choose a goal it would be between that one and Foden's goal like the, those two are just i think Vadiol's comes because it's a bit unexpected and he's he's kicking it off his weaker foot but still like it was just an, an amazing game with amazing goals um so yeah i uh, i don't know who's going to start the next game i don't know who's going to be fit Haaland didn't score or do anything kdb was got sick just before the game so he didn't manage to play this game he was on the bench um ederson needs to start the next game as well um yeah but all in all that second leg is going to be fire just like the arsenal bayern game this second leg is going to be insane but yeah that's it an amazing champions league night we are going to be live tomorrow for the psg versus barcelona game so you guys come we will be live on youtube and tiktok and for the night it's been a pleasure guys thank you so much peace